I will put a focus on an active transportation, on active transportation and public places. Elements of the community that encourage human activity and coming together. Bike lanes, walking trails, welcoming public spaces are key to this. We must consider this a priority as we plan for future developments. And we must look at how we can use our current <coughs> infrastructure differently to encourage human activity for such things like street festivals and open downtown spaces. To some extent, Cape Breton is on the cutting edge of what is now known as the creative economy. We have rich, a rich resource in our artists, our musicians, our writers, and our storytellers. Laura Mercer, a gifted musician and teacher, is part of this great resource. <laughs> People around the world are beginning to recognize this inherent talent which so many of us possess. As mayor, I will focus on supporting this talent and trans helping to transform it into the wondrous asset that it has the potential to be. As we plan for, as we move forward towards a more prosperous future, we must take seriously the need to plan for a more sustainable future. We are doing well in such areas as recycling and, and, and composting and using less water, but there is more than, than we, that we can do. And lessons can be learned from the experiences in other places. <laughs> Sustainability makes sense, both from an environmental perspective and as well from a financial perspective. The final piece of my plan for, for, for a vibrant community is to nurture and support the volunteer sector. Volunteers are truly the heart of our community. Without them, many of the services and the supports we, we have come to rely on would cease to exist. Yet many volunteer groups are struggling. These organizations sometimes currently pay taxes comparable to commercial establishments. With an unclear policy and, and an unclear process around tax relief, I will work towards, towards instituting a new tax policy for voluntary organizations which is clear and consistent and provides them with tax relief. Tax relief. My third priority as mayor is to stabilize our population and to attract newcomers to our community. It is a fact that CBRM loses about a thousand people a year, and that roughly is the equivalent of the population of Lewisburg. Every year we lose that, that, that many people. We are also an aging population, and as a result we will face serious labor shortages within the next ten years. This may seem contrary to our current situation, but we must be mindful of where we are going, and we must plan for it. At the same time, we have hundreds of newcomers arriving in our community every year. Many of them are international students at Cape Breton University. We know that many of them would be inclined to stay here if that opportunity presented itself. This is a strength, and we can build on it. To that end, Within the next 60 days of my mandate, I will begin to develop a population strategy for the municipality, building on existing research and work, but with a heightened level of focus and support from our municipal government. We must focus on ways, we must find ways to welcome newcomers to CBR, CBRM, and we must encourage them to stay here using all the tools we have. We must also work with our partners at the provincial and federal level. Immigration services, Im immigrant settlement services exist in Halifax. CBRM is the second largest municipality in Nova Scotia, with immigrants settling here as well. I will work hard to ensure that we have the establishment of equivalent services here in this municipality. mayor that I want to talk to you about today is engagement with some of our best assets, our youth, 
and our seniors. CBRM must be an, ex an inclusive place, taking into account the needs and aspirations of both our youngest and our oldest residents. I know that many of our youth don't feel valued in our community. In part, that is why many of them leave. It is encouraging that there are young people here, like Brittany, who are motivated to stay and to make a life here. I tend to think we can learn a great deal from young people, which is why, as mayor, I will establish a municipal youth council, so as to provide young people with a genuine, authentic opportunity to get engaged with the issues, and we will seek their input as we move, move forward. I pledge to you that I will also work with the school board to find better ways of incorporating civic affairs in the classroom. I will develop methods for incorporating the views of young people into municipal planning and asset mapping so as to help them shape the community that they will ultimately inherit. Mm -hmm. We must also consider the needs of our seniors in our planning, given that they are an ever-growing percentage of our overall population. Such considerations include affordable housing, accessing public transit, and recreation. Finally, as mayor, I will review and reform the payment structure for transit, providing a transit pass structure and discount transit passes for youth and seniors, for they generally are less independently mobile. Friends, I am pleased to share with you these priorities, which will guide me as I serve you as your mayor.